Great color doesn't just matter in a professional grade camera. It also matters in your smaller cameras like your micro four thirds or even your point and shoots or even your phone. And most phones today have a really great camera in them and now they can shoot in RAW. So if you use an iPhone or some Android device, you can turn that Android device into a RAW camera meaning that you're taking the raw data instead of a crunched JPEG. Rather than using the normal camera app on my phone, I'm actually using Lightroom as my camera, which allows me to shoot in a DNG format, which is a digital negative format. That means that I'm collecting all the raw color data when I take a photo. And as long as I have a photo in raw of the color checker passport, then I can photograph all day long and all those images are going to go up into the cloud and down into my Lightroom application on my desktop where I will be able to create a profile for my phone's camera with the color checker passport. And that's going to create perfect color even from a little phone. Now before we go any further, the first thing you need to do is download the color checker passport plugin for Lightroom or if you're not using Lightroom, make sure you download their standalone program for creating profiles, which is called the Color Checker Camera Calibration Program. So either one of those is going to be just fine. Both of them will create a perfect profile for you. But what we want to do is we want to create one from Lightroom because that's where I like to work and that's the simplest way to create a profile. All of these images are shot on an iPhone 6S and you can see that I've taken a number of images of the color checker passport. Find the best exposure of it and then once I've found it, just go down to the bottom left hand corner where you see the export button and I'm just going to click export and I will find a export dialog box. Now usually this is on uh, something that looks like this, it says hard drive. But if you click export to on that drop down menu, once you've installed the X-Rite plugin, you will see an X-Rite preset. Simply click on the X-Rite preset and name your DNG profile name. We're going to name this iPhone 6S and hit export. The color checker passport software is simply taking known colors and comparing those known colors to the colors that are coming out of the camera in your phone. Once it finds those two colors, it's going to create a computation to make sure that the red is actually red and the blue is actually blue. And when it does that, it's going to create a profile and that profile is going to be placed in Lightroom for later use. Once I have my camera profile installed inside of Lightroom for my phone, this is where the fun begins. So go to the develop module and look at your image of your color checker passport. Then simply go over to the right hand side just above the temperature and tint dials inside of Lightroom and you will find the profile browser inside of Lightroom. Go ahead and click on those four squares and you'll see that there's a default profile that's already applied to this image. But below that you will find in the profiles section, you will find an iPhone 6S profile or whatever you happen to name your profile. Now, when you click on or hover over the profile, you will see all of the colors change drastically. And that's because the underlying definition of color is being changed and it's going to make your images better. So watch as I hover over that profile and watch all of the colors shift on the color checker passport. Now I want to apply this profile to all the images I took from my iPhone success. So I'm going to go into the grid module inside of Lightroom and highlight all of the images from our photo shoot of our model with the color checker passport. And I'm going to click on one of the images of the model and go into the develop module. And inside the develop module, I'm going to go down to the bottom right hand side and make sure that auto sync is on. With auto sync on, everything that I do right now will be done to all of the images that I have selected down on the film strip. And I'm going to click on that profile browser and click on the iPhone 6S color profile. 
Once I've done that, I am going to have perfect color on all images. Now we changed the definition of the color underneath the photograph, but that doesn't mean that we have perfect white balance yet. The white balance is a completely different thing and is on top of those color definitions. So what we're going to do now is adjust our image the way we'd normally adjust things. Take our temperature down until we like the temperature, play around with our tint, and make sure that we love what we're seeing. We'll go ahead and adjust the file. Do everything that you would normally do to your file, but now you have beautiful color and you have extra latitude and better information in your shadows simply because you've profiled your camera. So now you're asking how many people do photo shoots with an iPhone with the model? Almost none. But you use your phone all the time, taking pictures of your kids, taking pictures of friends, and also taking beautiful pictures of landscapes and things that you see when you're traveling, and that's where this really starts to shine. Now let's look at a couple images that we've applied profiles to that aren't of a model, but they're just of regular everyday life. So here we are at my son's baseball game, and by going into the develop module and to the profile area, the profile browser, I'm going to hover over our iPhone 6S profile and I want you to see the differences in the color. So here is without and here is with. Without and with. You can see that the colors get better including over there on the left hand side you can see the sky looks so much better and the colors are not quite so over the top especially that orange. So this is without and this is with. All the uniforms look better, the grass looks better, the soil looks better, everything looks better. Now let's go to an image of a building in Europe. And here we are, take a look at the before and after. So here's before and here's after. Notice that the sky gets a little bit better, but so does the, uh, the rooftops. They become a nicer green. Look at the gold on the eagles. And if we really want to see gold, let's go inside of St. Peter's Cathedral. And here we are, here's before, and look at the gold after. So here's before, now look at the after. The gold looks so much more real, so much more correct, because it is, it's perfect color. Let's just look at this Christmas tree and watch the difference. This is before, and I want you to watch how the colors actually fill in where Otherwise, they're overexposed in the center of the bulbs. So before and after. Take a look at how the blue is filling into the center of the bulbs. All of those colors are getting richer simply because we have identified the actual definitions of the colors. I hope you can see that getting perfect color by profiling your camera is not just for professional photographers who have professional cameras. It's for anybody who wants to have better photographs, including people who are photographing just with their iPhone. So pick up a color checker passport, take a picture of it, bring it into Lightroom, profile it, and make sure you're getting perfect color no matter what camera you're using.